So y'all, I'm pregnant. Yes, pregnancy story, pregnancy journey, whatever I decided to call this video, pregnancy story. So I have tried to record the video four, three times. This is my first time recording it and it is what it is. Y'all gonna get this fourth video and that's it. Um, <laughs> so starting out with, yes, I am pregnant. I'm 35 years old. Oh, y'all, I thought I was finished. I really did. I thought, especially after I had my ovarian cyst removal, I have to do a whole video on that. I just realized I did not even post that video. I didn't post any update on YouTube and my ovarian cyst story would help, help out so many women and I am going to post, I'm going to um, record that next because who? That was a journey, a painful journey, a scary journey. I thought I was about to die. A little brief um, update. A year ago, I had a 13-pound ovarian cyst removed from me um, in July of 2021. And I was told when I tried to get checkups and stuff like that, it was nobody believed my pain. Um, they blame it on my weight. I believe a little bit of, you know, colorism played a role in that. But we're going to talk about that on a whole nother video. So after I had my ovarian cyst removal, doctors did tell me, like, I wasn't planning on having any more kids. No, the doctors did tell me that, um, that now that I only have one ovary, it's a chance, you know, it might be harder for me to get pregnant. But it was okay for me. And the crazy part is, when I had my ovarian cyst removal, the doctor asked me, in because I had emergency surgery, she asked me, did I want a hysterectomy? And I told her, no, I don't want that option of having more children taken from me just like that. And she was like, okay, if we have to go back in, we'll go back in later. So it turned out my ovarian cyst wasn't cancerous or anything. So I didn't have to worry about them going back in, but I did have to, they did have to remove one ovary and one Philippian tube. And that's what um, they were saying that, you know, I might not be as fertile and all that. So now let's get to the juiciness of this pregnancy. So y'all know, and I say y'all, cause I hope that y'all follow me on Instagram and everything. Cause that's where I spilled on my tea, especially in my close, close friends these past couple years. And just you guys just knowing my journey in life, um, y'all know, for a part of my life of me being a blogger and everything, I was in a long-term relationship that ended about three, four years ago. I think about four or five years ago now. That ended. And then about three years ago, I think it's either two or three years, I found myself in a little six-month relationship. Homeboy ghosted me. That's how that ended. Had to do some serious healing. He broke my heart, everything. Oh, y'all, the heartbreak at, what oh, was I at that time? 33, 32, whew, that was my first heartbreak. So, had to heal from that. And then puts me up to these past two years. So, these past two years, I have been dating. I have been dating, really putting myself out there. It has its highs and lows. A lot of you guys experienced my journey on Instagram. Um... It was one of those things where I put myself out there. I actually own my singleness. I have a whole ebook on owning your singleness also um, for my Uncensored Girl Chat. Um, that's another part of me that I am getting ready to fully launch coming soon on the podcast. But yeah, um, I fully own my singleness. I enjoyed it. I took myself out on dates. I dated, um, I did the online dating, in-person dating, I shot my shot, all that. So, two years of doing this, like, consistently, 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 I never, um, I didn't take a break from dating. I, I dated, I dated, I dated, I had a roster, some, some moments I had a roster, some moments I didn't, some moments I just dismiss everybody, but it was a journey, and I would say a year, not a year to the day, because my partner, my baby daddy, this baby daddy, um, we, 
connected, I want to say October of last year, we connected and we didn't officially start dating until like, I think we both officially said we were dating in like December, but we were still like linking up October and November and then December we officially said we were dating. And then in February, that's when we officially made it a thing, a title. I didn't even tell my close friends. I waited until I think I announced I was pregnant to my close friend in my close friends group in like May. That's when I told him I was actually in a relationship with him because you know it was just a part of me I shared everything and I didn't want people to dive into my relationship um I wanted women to really just put themselves out there and date and and learn from my experience and use my journey as inspiration and I can honestly say that a lot of women they did start putting themselves out there by seeing what I went through um but yeah so let me just tell you, I didn't plan to have any kids. Me and him, we actually talked about it. And he both was like, he has a younger daughter. And he was like, if I do have more kids, it's going to be by um, before she turns five. And the crazy part is she turns five in January. And for me, I have Lele, my daughter. Um, she's 14 now. I was like, hey, I'm finished. I, I, I'm, I might just be finished. But in all... Me and him hit it off. He knocked everybody else out the ballpark. And the crazy part is with me and him dating, he did not stress. Let me just ask you guys this. You guys know what dating is. Like you are, it's not exclusive. You are allowed to date multiple people. Um, I highly suggest dating multiple people. Um, you don't get caught up in one person and you just get to get to know people. The dating phase is the really get getting to know phase and it's okay to get to know people. Um, so he did not stress the issue about me dating other people while we were dating. He never asked. He knew I was dating. I, I was very vocal um, at the beginning of our dating stage, even in our just our talking stage of us figuring out where it was going. The crazy part is close friends, they know him as shy guy. So he was shy guy because it was one of those things like I didn't know where this was going. It was kind of like up in the air. Like I didn't know if we were going to be good friends, how this was going to, you know, I guess evolve. I really truly thought we were just going to be friends or whatever. And he made his official move in I think in November, December. That's how I knew he was fully interested in me outside of like just a friendship. Um, so he took it real, real slow. And even <laughs> the crazy part is when he first asked me to be his girlfriend, I said no. I had to say no because I was dating and I kind of had to I didn't say no, but I told him because we were both drinking and we both were tipsy. And um, it was every night of us hanging out. And I both and I told him and I was like, so I don't let's not let's revisit this later on. But in my head, I already knew that I had to ask everybody else off. He was already making it me hard, making it hard for me to date other people. He was taking my Saturdays away, only made me made it available for me to date on Fridays or during the week. And even during the week was kind of suspect because he would probably pop up and say, hey, let's go go out to eat or you want to come over or something like that. And I did prefer spending more of my time with him than the other guys because it was just I just love getting to know him and still getting to know him and still dating him. Um, <clears throat> so we made it official in February and it has been a journey a great journey and I'm enjoying this relationship that I'm in the pregnancy was just definitely like we both knew what we were doing but it was definitely a surprise y'all let me just let me jump into that so when I say it was a surprise I remember I was shooting my podcast because I shot podcasts all this summer I was shooting my um first little um my first what season it's really all one season but it, my first part of my podcast and we were drinking mimosas all day long and I can drink mimosas 
And it was um, at the end when we went out to eat, I threw up. And I threw up like a couple times. And I was like, this is not normal. But I didn't think I was pregnant or anything. I didn't think I was pregnant. All I know is I went home. I came back home because I shot him in Atlanta. Came back home. And then I believe like a week or two later, I realized that my period didn't come. Like my menstrual was, did not come. And since I had my ovarian cyst removed, it has been like clockwork. When I tell y'all my period has been on clockwork, it don't miss a day. Um, it, it's not, it, 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 no, it was not even later day. It'll probably come early. <sighs> so I missed it. And I'm like, oh, okay, okay, okay. Then it's late by three, I think about three, five days. And I said, okay, let me go take a pregnancy test. Go take a pregnancy test. It's positive. I'm crying. My sis, I called my sister and I said, hey, I think I'm pregnant. I just took a pregnancy test. She, she, she all excited because I'm the last bunch of my family of children of my, um, my um father and my stepmother on the last that everybody else has like three and four kids i'm the only one with one child so she's all excited so i'm asking her i'm like hey because my sister she has four kids so she has been to our pregnancy center in our town quite a bit <laughs> so i'm asking her do i need an appointment to run up there she's like yeah so i mean to hang up with her call get an appointment they have an appointment like 30 minutes from when i call and i said i'll be there because it only takes me like 10 12 minutes to get there so i'm like i'll be there so i get there because um, now i'm like is it really real real so i get there they um it's like a counseling center so they counsel you first like a whole i would say 30 minutes of counseling and um, the nurse comes in and she tells you, she, she does a counseling session too. And I'm like, I cut her off. I'm like, Hey, not to cut you. I, I'm not trying to be rude or anything, but I'm really, really nervous, um, about this. Can we just skip to the part? Um, you know, let me know if I'm pregnant. Now I had already discussed with them if I'm pregnant, like for real, real, I'm keeping it. Um, I feel like it's my miracle baby. <laughs> Like I, I told him I'm keeping it. It's like no questions asked. Now I didn't tell, I didn't tell shy guy. I didn't tell him whatsoever. And bam, she tells me you're pregnant now. And, and I'm like, hold up. How accurate is this? She said 99%. You'll get a fall more of a false um, negative before you get a po false positive. So I'm boohoo crying because I can't believe it. It's not like mad tears, but it's like, I can't believe it. How I'm going to tell him. I know this is a new relationship because like we, it was kind of new. Um, I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm like so nervous. So I accept it and I'm like, okay, so it's like, I think it was like a week before Father's Day. I'm like, do I tell him tonight or do I wait till Father's Day? But then knowing that he's kind of unsure also, so what do I do? So, bam, I go ahead and I tell him. I tell him that night and he's like, I knew it. I knew you were pregnant and I'm crying. He was like, what are you crying for? We're going to have this baby. And I immediately tell him, I'm like, listen, if you don't want to do this, you don't have to. I would not hold it against you. Because my way of thinking, like, I already raised Alasia by myself with no support of her father. He's not involved whatsoever. Absent father completely. Um, So I'm telling him, let me know, like, what's up? And he, he looking at me like, what you talking about? We gonna do this. Like, you, you shut up. Don't talk like that. So now we're here. <laughs> and we we were hoping for a boy we were hoping for a boy we are having a girl um and i'm i'm just so excited because just to know that oh, all these years like i'm 35 having a baby like 35 having a baby and i was still in shock even after they gave me that test because they scheduled me for ultrasound like two weeks later y'all i took i wish i had my friend of me but i'm going to show y'all i took like five pregnancy tests i took one like every couple of days because i was in disbelief like am i really really pregnant and it still is a shocker like i'm pregnant i am pregnant and 
one thing I can say, and I told him, I was like, I had a horrible pregnancy with Elasia. Like, y'all, I, I told Instagram already, I found out I was pregnant while I was in jail. Like, I found out I was pregnant while I was in jail. Um, the first, my first six, I think my first five months of pregnancy was when I was in jail. So, yeah. So that was like a, a real big shock. Oh, camera cut off. But yeah, that was a real shocker. And then me just, I, I was in survivor mode during that whole pregnancy. I was stressed. I cried a lot. Her father was not there for me. Um, I did have two friends who were really there for me during that pregnancy. Uh, it was hard. Um, we're going to do a story time with that also. But and I expressed that to him. And this pregnancy so far has been nothing like that. I am happy. I am in soft girl. The soft girl era. I get to just really just experience it and enjoy it and be happy and not have to question anything. And um now this little girl is moving around. Whew, it's, it's, it's getting real. This is going to be a journey. And one thing I'm like, Lord, I'm going to be 40 years old taking the kindergarten to school. Now, will I have more kids? I actually thought about it. I might want to pop out one more, but Shy Guy, he's kind of like, he says no. But you never know. Um... <laughs> but if it happens it has to happen like immediately but i'm not gonna get married first because goal was to get married first and then have a child if my husband wanted one and i skipped all that but hey sometimes you know god works in mysterious ways so there's that but i am happy i'm excited to see what the future holds for us and let the journey this new journey begin we are Probably, I, I'm not going to tell y'all right now, but soon. We'll have the baby soon. Not really soon, but it's coming next year. And I'm really excited just to see if she's going to look like me, her father. Um, hoping for a little nice little chocolate baby. But, yeah. And that's all. So, this is my pregnancy story. My After my pregnancy, well, before my pregnancy announcement but part break what leading up to that but yeah so prepare to get more vlog style videos from me i am definitely going to upload my ovarian cyst um video next and probably hmm, i have some baby stuff i could do some unboxing with um baby gift registry stuff um yeah so Get ready to see more of me. Vlog style, though. <sighs> I might do some hauls. I don't know. I can't fit anything right now. I just ordered a bunch of dresses. Excuse me. But, yeah. That's all. Until next time. Let me know in the comments, like, what do you, what kind of videos would you like to see? Pregnancy videos. I do cook. I do have my cravings. Um, I'm not holding myself back. From anything I, I can say it was a shocker you know what I'm gonna save this for the next video for my uh, updated pregnancy journey video I'm not gonna spill everything in this video but until next time you guys bye and I'm back on YouTube